In this video, I'm gonna teach you exactly how you can master the art of American Express point redemptions for beginners. To do this, I'm gonna go over all the different ways to redeem your American Express points, starting from the worst ways to going into some of the best ways. And towards the end of the video, not only am I gonna share with you exactly what the best way to redeem those Amex points are, but I'm gonna walk you through the entire process. So this here, I think is gonna be one of the most important credit card videos that you'll ever watch. So sit back, take some notes, and let's get started. Started. So first of all, before we dive into any redemption strategy talk, we need to go over the basics of how membership reward points work. As most guys know, points are earned whenever you use your credit card, you swipe it, and for whatever category it says that you're gonna earn it from, you'd be getting those points. As an example, if you have the American Express Gold Card, you'd be earning 4X membership reward points at US supermarkets on up to $25,000 per year in purchases, or you get 4X membership reward points at restaurants worldwide, including takeout and delivery. Assuming you spent $100 on food using that credit card at a restaurant, you would be earning 400 membership reward points. Now, a lot of people assume that you're automatically getting 4X back on everything, but the value of these points varies depending on how you redeem them. What this means is if you don't do a good job at redeeming your points, you would not be getting 4X. You could be getting like 2X back on food. So to take this even further, if you were to redeem those Amex membership reward points for one cent each, then 400 points would be worth $4. Now, on the other side of that spectrum, if you're able to redeem your Amex membership reward points for two cents each, then 400 points would be worth $8. The value of those points would mean you're getting $8 back, which means effectively you're getting 8% back on your food purchases. Now, look, that is a huge difference right there. That could be literally twice the value or half the value of what's stated within the card benefits. And this is exactly why it's so important for you to all understand the different ways to properly redeem your points so it can help you get the most amount of rewards and value for your spend. So in order to teach you the secret on unlocking the full power of your Amex points to make sure that you're getting every dollar back, let's first go over several different ways to redeem your American Express membership reward points because not all redemption options are created equally. So to make this next part really smooth and easy to understand, well, American Express has gone ahead and added a brand new tool called the Points Value Calculator on their website. Let me walk you through it. So to access this, all you do is just click on points value calculator within the membership reward points tab. Once we're on this tab, we can click on any card as an example. We'll use the gold card, okay? So we have American Express gold card and say we have 10,000 membership reward points that we've earned. Right underneath that, we have six different ways that we can redeem those points, starting with pay with points at checkout. For 10,000 membership reward points, if I were to use it at Amazon, I'd be getting $70 for 10,000 points, which would mean I'm getting a 0.7 cent per point ratio. The rule of thumb here is to stay above a one cent to one point redemption. If you're not able to do that, then you're not getting a good redemption. Scrolling down, they're gonna give us some other sites that we can redeem our membership reward points on, but on average, you're getting about $70 for 10,000 points, which is not great. Every now and then you're gonna have this random one, like a New York City taxi, but for anyone who doesn't live outside of New York, I just don't see this being valuable. The next one is redeeming your American American Express membership reward points for gift cards. So they've gone ahead and added a ton of new partners. They have Airbnb, Best Western, and occasionally you'll see some redemptions where it is one cent to one point, where it's $100. And that is, as an example, with the Fairmont Hotel. Scrolling down, you'll notice that there are $50 redemptions, which would be absolutely terrible because you're getting half a cent per point, which means if I was spending with the American Express gold card and say this was on that food category, I'd be getting 2% back instead of 4% back on that purchase. Another option that American Express gives you is that they allow you to redeem your points by covering your car charges. So say you're going through a difficult month and you wanna go ahead and pay off an additional credit card bill. Many people get tempted by this where they wanna cover those charges. You know, maybe you bought a new iPhone, you realize, oh crap, I only have uh, $500 in my bank account, but I have a lot of points. By doing this, you're only getting 0.6 cents per point, which makes it a not good redemption. Now here's where things get spicy, okay? Another way to redeem your points, similar to the whole gift cards and paying with points at checkout is to just use it for shopping. This is another terrible way for you to redeem those points, but there are actually two really solid ways and that's gonna be related to travel. So within this category, we have book or upgrade your travel where you'll find that you can get a $100 point value for finding flights or redeeming it through the American Express travel portal. Scrolling down, they're gonna give you $70 per 10,000 points 
points, which is not the best. And this $50 this is as terrible as well, but you'll notice that there are two decent options. So you can upgrade with points for $100 or you can find flights. Now by clicking on this, it's gonna open up the American Express travel portal tab. To find out whether you're getting a decent redemption, it's really easy. So we'll take this as an example, the Ritz Carlton in LA. This is a place that I stayed at a little while back. We're gonna pick May 1st as a random date. We'll check out on May 2nd. So here on Google, you'll notice that they're charging about $819 directly on their website and a little bit more on some of these other third-party sites. Within the American Express portal tab, you'll notice that they are offering the same hotel for about $819. So we're getting the same value. We're not getting ripped off here. Taking a look at how much the average night costs in MR points, you'll notice that it is actually one-to-one. -one. So you're getting not a terrible redemption, not a great redemption, but you're getting the baseline minimum. Now this tab right here, transfer points to a frequent traveler program is where you're going to find the most bang for your buck. By clicking on here to go into view details, American Express is going to show us the different partners where you can transfer your points to. Out of this, you're going to notice that there are 17 airlines and three hotels. And I'll tell you this, hotels is not going to be the best way. Most often than not, it is going to be flights. With hotels, you can get upgrades on a room. So you can go from like a basic, you know, queen size bed with, you know, staring at a brick wall to maybe their penthouse suite, which is triple the size with their king size mattress overlooking everything. Airlines are similar in a way where you can get upgrades based on the seat position you have. So you can get economy or you can get a nice first class flight. There are also other variables within an airline which go into more of how long the flight is or whether it's a nonstop flight or not. Going into the different airline transfer programs, you'll also notice that the redemption rate is a little different on some. So with Aer Lingus, I'm getting a thousand points and I'm getting a thousand Avios miles. Compare that though to Aero Mexico, where for a thousand MR points, I'm actually getting a little bit more points, 1600 premier points to be exact. Scrolling down, sometimes it could be less though. So if I wanted to book with JetBlue, if I were to transfer 250 membership reward points, I'd be only getting 200 true blue points. Now, when it comes to utilizing transfer partners, I know it can get pretty overwhelming quick. So let me break it down as easy as possible for you guys to figure out what to do next. First of all, you need to know a few key pointers. One of them is the fact that you must be flexible if you want to get the best redemption possible, and you must be able to book early if it deems so. There are also several different tools that you can utilize in order to make sure that this whole process is easier. Some of my favorite ones is awardhacker.com, travelcodex.com, milesbiz, and seat spy. Another little travel tip for you guys is if you're ever trying to get a decent seat or trying to see what your plane looks like, you can use tools like seatguru.com or seatmaestro.com in order to get a review of seeing how those seats look and what other people reviewed it as. When I flew to Korea business class, this is what allowed me to get a full laydown pod versus just having a reclining seat for the same exact price. So to reiterate what I've said, one of the best ways to maximize your Amex membership reward points is to get first class or business class flights by transferring your points over to airline partners. Now, instead of just telling you about all of this, let me actually show you in this example here. All right, so one of the dream destinations that I've always wanted to go on is to the Maldives. All right, so I went ahead and put in the details for a one-way ticket to the Maldives, Friday, September 1st, just a random day. And right here, one of the best options that we got is a direct, actually, sorry, a one-stop flight to the Maldives for 19 hours. Now you'll notice that this business class flight here is gonna cost me 4,137 bucks. By clicking directly onto the Travel Partners website, I'll then have a variety of different options in order to see how I can use my miles and ultimately use my Amex MR points. By the way, if you guys don't know, the first step in trying to figure out how to get the best redemption possible is knowing what trips you wanna take. There are countless amount of different blogs too that always report, okay, there are some really good deals if you're going from X to X and you're trying to save a whole bunch on a first class flight, people report these things too. But if you have a dream destination in mind, it's going to make the process a lot easier because it can get overwhelming pretty quick. So what you'll notice within this flight is that we have a business class flight for $4,000 and then we have a first class flight for $15,000. I'm going to click on the details here and by opening it up, I'm going to have three different options. This is common within booking a flight. You have Saver, Flex, Flex Plus. One of them pretty much allows you to have um, a change fee or a refund 
refund policy if you do happen to change or cancel your flight. What it usually costs though is a lot more, so you're paying almost double, but I want you guys to focus on this section here. This flight here is actually eligible for a first class upgrade upon arrival. Now this here is not always available. If I click on it, it will say that there's no current availability at the time, but that's why I mentioned at the beginning that you need to be flexible on your days. Usually they will allow business class upgrades to happen, whether it's two days before or a full one day before you actually get on the flight. You're not going to have first class flights completely booked out every single time, especially when it costs $15,000 for a one-way ticket. What this means is there's an opportunity for us people who are more educated within the credit card space to come in and scoop up these deals. So right here, it says this is eligible for 91,000 miles to upgrade to the first class flight. And all I have to do is right now pay $4,000 for a business class C. What I'm going to do next is then go and type in Emirates to MR points on Google. I'm going to click on the link to the verified American Express website. And right here, they're going to show me exactly how I can transfer one MR point to one Skyward mile. Say I wanted to book this flight today. I would go ahead and pay the business class flight. I book it. And then depending on the availability, if I'm actually able to get this first class upgrade for 91,000 miles at one point to one cent, here's how much that would be worth. Now, ChatGPT is a tool that any of you guys can use. I use it almost as like my second personal assistant now, and I'll give it a prompt. How much is 91,000 miles worth at one cent per one point? So ChatGPT, thank you for the answer, $912.60. This means on top of the basic rate of $4,136 and adding up the $912. So for about $5,000 total, if I am able to get that upgrade, it means I'm saving roughly a third of the cost. So basically by using my credit card points, transferring them over, I'm not only saving $10,000, but I'm tripling the value of my American Express points. Now this will work for most travel partners. Just make sure that they are transferable with American Express, but they have a wide variety of different airlines. So it is pretty easy to do that. From my experience as well, some of the best redemptions that you can get with American Express membership reward points are going to happen when you transfer over to ANA. Now, some of these airplane websites like ANA, they just, they got such terrible like interface. So it's going to be a little bit more work. It feels like you're on the internet web of the 2000s. But if you're able to do it, I'm telling you, I have seen people get anywhere from five to even 10 cent per point redemptions. Now it doesn't just end there, but if you guys are looking for ways to maximize those Amex membership reward points, make sure you keep an eye out for award flight deals. Airlines often offer promotional deals where you can book first class flights for fewer points than usual. Now you can sign up for airline newsletters to get notified of this, or you can use those sites like Award Wallet to track these type of deals. At this point though, I want you guys to know that it's worth noting while transferring your points to airline partners can be probably the most valuable option, it's not always the most convenient. If you're looking for a simple way to book a first class flight, you can always just use Amex's travel portal and you might not get the best redemption, but I've still seen two cent to three point redemptions with some rare flights. Now, another option that you have in trying to get better value for your membership reward points for travel is by contacting the American Express concierge line. By holding certain cards like the American Express Platinum card, you have full 24 seven access to a concierge who's supposed to help you with booking travel like this. Now, because this is a free offering that anyone has access to as long as they're a card holder, you're not going to be getting like the most exclusive dedicated type of deal, but this is just another option for you to explore if you have no idea where to start. Last but not least, this is another little secret hack, but if you're someone who values a lot more of their time versus, you know, the little bit of points that you can save, I would definitely recommend you guys to check out American Express's travel agent site. Whether it's with American Express or you go for another travel agent, these people specialize in luxury travel and sometimes they have access to better deals and maximizing the value of your points more than you could ever do. If you're not comfortable though, ever using a travel agent and you're thinking, okay, this is only what like the rich and the famous do. And this is not for me. I'll even tell you guys, I've never used a travel agent. I don't think I've had to, but I'm curious to one day. The next thing that you can also do is to just join a community or have a lot of other friends who are well-versed within this space. One of the many perks that comes with me being a creator here is that I'm well-connected with like all the other content creators, a lot of people who travel, a lot of people who are looking into this stuff every single day as a passion. Because I'm friends with them, they'll often say, hey, Brian, do you want to join me on this trip? Here is a redemption. You can get 5X membership reward points on this example travel to Japan. Or some of my other friends, you know, if they're going to another country and they notice that they see a good redemption, they'll just forward it to me. If you guys don't have friends like that, it's completely okay though, because I have a completely free Facebook group. It is one of the largest credit card groups to exist at over 30,000 members.
members. And there, we don't just talk about credit cards. If you have any questions or thoughts regarding travel, that's what it's for too. If you want to go ahead and join, it's completely free. Be sure to check out the link down below in the description. I'll send you an email to join our group. And then after that, we'll approve your request. If you guys did find any type of value within this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And like always, if you guys do want to support this channel even further, be sure to check out the links down below in the description the next time you plan on applying for a new card. Like always, make sure those offers are the best and most competitive for you, but it's because of your support that I can keep coming out with fire videos like this and hoping to make you guys even more money through the entire lifespan of, of the existence that we're here together on this earth. So thank you all so much again for watching. See y'all next time.